ng after content in it and ng after content checked kindly watch the previous re uh, videos related to the life cycle hooks of the component or directive and also subscribe the channel for the latest updates uh, first let us try to understand uh, about these two methods by using uh, some use case suppose basically a angular application is using uh, three components app component favorite cities component and city component uh, here in favorite cities component city name along with the uh, country name is displaying suppose favorite cities component is used in app component template so app component is the parent component and favorite cities component is the child component within app component uh, uh, template uh, uh, favorite cities component uh, start and end takes uh, we have used city component so city component is projected into the favorite cities component in favorite cities component template we need to use ng content so projected content will be displayed here basically this is called as content projection and we have discussed about this in detail in previous video kindly watch that video uh, here city component is projected into the favorite cities component so city component is the content child of favorite cities component if you want to get uh, the properties and methods of the city component within the favorite cities component then you have to use content child decorator if the multiple cities are projected into the favorite cities component then we have to use uh, content children uh, decorator uh, and about this content child and content children uh, decorators we have discussed in detail in previous video kindly watch that video uh, here in favorite cities component we need to write some business logic uh, uh, by using the properties of the city component uh, suppose here uh, uh, city name is the input property of the city component uh, by using this name uh, if you want to fetch the country country details from the uh, backend server then we need to write some custom code uh, here ng after content in it is the right place to write this logic because this ng after content uh, will be called by angular uh, uh, once after uh, all the projected content is initialized and this will be called only one time in life cycle of the component so if you want to write any initialization logic by using the uh, projected uh, uh, projected uh, uh, content uh, properties and methods then you have to write that in ng after content in it here suppose in app component uh, uh, name of the city is changed so here uh, uh, in favorite cities component uh, uh, the updated city name along with the respective country should be displayed in favorite cities component uh, if we write the logic to fetch the country uh, country name by using the city name passed to the favorite cities component in ng after content in it uh, even if the city name is changed that will not update in the favorite cities component because ng after content in it will be called only one time in the life cycle of the component so this logic needs to be written in ng after content checked uh, basically this is called after ng after content in it uh, and every subsequent call of ng to check so if any change, any custom code uh, that needs to be fetched the latest uh, uh, details of the input properties uh, uh, using the uh, projected content then you have to use uh, ng after content checked let us try to understand this with simple example program this is the simple uh, angular application which was created by using angular cli uh, here i made some changes uh, to save some time uh, here first one is i have created city component here in city component nothing we are displaying okay here city component has one input property that name is name okay next i have created favorite cities component here in favorite cities component it will display the uh, city name along with the country and we have used ng content that means uh, uh, any content can be projected into the favorite cities component uh, and that projected content will be displayed here okay here uh, to display name and prop, uh, country we are using name and country properties of the favorite cities component okay here both are string type and uh, to get uh, the country details based, uh, generally we need to uh, we need to fetch those details from the backend server database server 
but here to save some time i am uh, using i have defined uh, array of city details component uh, sorry details city details class basically it has two properties name and country name and country okay uh, so uh, whenever uh, the uh, content is projected uh, into this favorite cities component uh, we need to use that uh, projected content and we need to fetch the uh, country details from this cities info array okay now one more component app component uh, here uh, in app component we have used favorite cities component within the start and end tags of the favorite cities component we use the city component so city component is projected into the favorite cities component and we have used one button uh, where it has the click event uh, to change the city name uh, passing to this uh, city component yes change details is the method uh, this is the change details method where uh, uh, it will change the city name here city name we have uh, uh, declared as string and uh, uh, sent some default value okay now in uh, favorite cities component we need to write some business logic uh, uh, to use the uh, city name parser from the app component and fetch the respective country name okay for that we need to write it in uh, ng after content in it Suppose if the same logic, if you write in ng on init, uh, in ng on init, the projected content is not initialized. So it will give undefined error. So any logic, if you want to write by using the content projected content, then you should write it in ng after content in it. Okay. First, we need to use content child decorator. Okay content child that we need to use the city component then we have to define some static field generally it will be false about this we have discussed in detail in content child related video kindly watch that video okay let us give some name of type city component okay now by using this we can uh, get the properties and methods of the city component okay let me use this i need to assign the values to this name and country this dot name is equal to we need to fetch the country name uh, sorry this dot content dot name will have that name okay next this dot country so we need to fetch that country from the uh, cities info array so this dot cities info dot we can use the find method okay x dot name is equal sorry this dot content dot name we need to use okay for that we need to take country so here uh, uh, this uh, the content name is assigned to name and country we have fetched from the cities component generally this logic uh, uh, will be written by use uh, to connect to the da da database server or backend server to fetch the country details by using uh, city name okay to save some time we have written uh, to give fetch the details from the array okay let's see the output here now yeah we can see that uh, we have passed delhi as the default value so it uh, fetched the respective country and displayed it here here change city uh, will be changed this uh, delhi value to new york okay if i click on this thing nothing is changed because we have written that logic within the uh, ng after content in it and it will be called only up, uh, when the component is initialized uh, if you want to fetch uh, every time when the uh, value is changing then you have to write the same logic within 
ng after content checked ng after content okay if we write this same logic let's see the output here okay default value delhi india is displayed okay when we click on this thing uh, uh, delhi is changed into the new york then respect to country should be displayed yeah we can see that new york uh, country america is displayed this is the way we can use uh, ng after content in it and ng after content uh, checked when the uh, content is projected into the component if you want to write any initialization logic by using the projected content then you have to write it in ng after content in it uh, if you want to write the some logic whenever uh, projected content properties are changed then you have to write that in ng after content check thank you